This is the real Tom Rose, and we're solving a problem that's dealing with fractions. Not only fractions, but fractions that we have to convert into an equation. And I have a technique that I like to use for converting fractions into equations, which is um, I have a literal translation technique. So for example, um, one fifth of the total, let's take that. One fifth of the total is an expression which becomes, using my translation technique, one fifth becomes itself, as do any numbers. The word of is multiplication. And when they say the total, I'm, since I don't know what that is, I'm going to assign that a variable, t. So we have one fifth t. Um, then later they tell us the points for the second quarter were 18. So this is first, second are simply 18, and the total from the first two quarters is one-third of the total points for the game. So that's one-third which becomes itself of, which becomes multiply, the same t, the total points in the game. And for this label, I'm going to call this sum of first half. You notice I'm not using the same label that they gave me in the problem. This is one thing they're trying to do to confuse you. It says the total from the first two quarters. Notice this is the different total than total points in the game, which I'll put in blue right here. They use the word total twice, but it's really two different numbers. So I'm switching to call this sum of the first half. Now they told us in the problem that the first, half, the first quarter was 1 -fifth t, and the second quarter was 18. So if I add those together, what I should get is the points from the first half, which is 1 -third t. Now we have an equation that we can solve for t, and t will give us total points the team scored during the game. So the first thing you want to do is collect like variables. We have t's on both sides, so I'm going to, or I'll show you the other step. Let's subtract 1 -fifth t from both sides. What we'll end up with is 18 equals 1 -third t minus 1 -fifth t. And to make the subtraction, I'm going to need a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply uh, the left the left term by 5 over 5, and multiply the right term by 3 over 3. And I picked that those numbers because they were the denominator of the other term. When I write out the next line, we get 18 equals 5 fifteenths t minus 3 fifteenths t or 18 equals 2 fifteenths t. Now let's multiply both sides by 15. And we get 15 times 18, which I'm going to plug into a calculator. 270 equals 2t. And let's divide both sides by 2. And what we'll find is that 135 equals t. And that is answer choice D.